of you guys have ever been to Top Golf. It's pretty fun, especially if you don't know how to golf. That's what makes it more fun. But we are about to leave to go turn up some more and be adults and parents that don't have their kids tonight. So <laughs> they are spending the night with Mimi. Thank goodness. So we're gonna go have some fun. So I'm, <laughs> we're going to a place called Silver City. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Seth so knows what that is. What, what it's, is a, it? it's a magic show. It's a theater. It's a theater where they do live performances. They do some magic. Sometimes. So, when you do yeah. have to have money. Yeah, yeah. Now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> AKA strip club. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Stephanie, Stephanie got her uh, fur on. That's fur. What is that? It's chinchilla. <laughs> that's a Maltese. A Maltese. That's a Maltese right there. <laughs> recipe. I saw it on Instagram and it looks so good. I want to try this keto thing. Y'all know the vegan thing didn't work for me. And now they're saying vegan don't even work or you shouldn't be vegan or whatever. Anyway, I know keto looks delish. So it was a ranch chicken recipe. Someone's in the pantry again. Um, cheesy ranch chicken recipe. I can definitely tolerate eating that, and so I'm gonna make it. So I went to Aldi, and I got my chicken, my cheese, some bacon. I'm gonna hook it up. You're hungry, but you're not getting any graham crackers. No graham crackers, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I know they are starving. So, um. Okay guys, so here it is. My keto dish is chicken ranch um, or cheesy chicken ranch, whatever it is. So, it looks good, doesn't it? I didn't do like a 
how to, I guess you can say, because, you know, I wanted to see how it came out. I was following a recipe, and I detoured from the recipe a lot because the way that was tasting, I'm like, mm, let me go ahead and see what I can do to fix this thing. And I think the way I did it tastes a so once we get Mr.'s approval, then I will do a sure like how to make this dish. Because it's almost like a pasta dish just without the noodles. So I'm gonna have it just as it is. I have chicken, broccoli, diced tomatoes, and turkey bacon, and some diced peppers in there. Like the recipe I was looking at did not call for a lot of that stuff. But it was so bland. I'm like, no, that ain't going to work for me. So, I can't wait to taste it. And if it's good, then I will post the recipe. Or we may just do a whole video on how. Hey, squad. So, tonight I am at A Night in the Wild with Sarah Jakes Roberts. Um... Bishop T.D. Jake's daughter. So she's doing, I don't know if you guys listen to her podcast, but it's one of my favorite podcasts that I listen to. And she's doing a live show tonight here at Potter's House, Dallas. So I'm about to meet up with my girls. I'm late, of course. Y'all know me. <sighs> so about to hurry up and run in here and get my seat. I got to print out my stuff. Y'all see my outfit? Not in a while, so I got my fur on. But, um... <laughs> I'm going to show y'all some little clips. So, my church. Y'all, y'all know my church. Like, of course, it's my church. That's my girl. My best friend in my head. She don't know it yet. So, I'm going to see where Sharika and Tess are sitting. Oh, I'm 
podcast all the time. It's a lot of fun. A lot of I go on Facebook Live and I get to have this dialogue with. Nighting the while is over and Miss Sarah Jakes Roberts has caused me to work up an appetite, honey. After she has completely slayed my life. Pushed my wig back. Whew. She was so good, y'all. So good. Listen to that podcast. But this is the only late night place open, so give us a eat. show y'all what happened when you don't complain. She gave me an extra set of flaunters for waiting. Ah! God will give you double for your trouble. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Stefan just said he has to boo-boo on the pot. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Wait. 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 Beep. 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 Hold on. You gotta take your diaper off. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do it. It's heavy. You can't hold 
day. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, it's heavy, I know. See? Oh, look at your belly. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Thank you. This is one of those days where I don't want to go to the gym. But I know I need to. So, I'm going to make myself go. And I may have to take them to the kids club if Deron is not back in time. He went to work. <sighs> and I don't want to take them to the kids. I don't want to take them to the kids club only because I know Tony will hate it. But at some point he does have to get over his fear of socializing with other kids. So I don't want to enable <laughs> Even though he's just two, you can still enable. I don't want to enable that fear. I just, I hate having to deal with the crying and stuff like that. But I need to go to the gym. I want to do a class today. I don't really feel like weightlifting. I want to do a cardio class. So, I think I'm going to, oh, I need to look up the schedule. To see? <laughs> All right, let's get dressed. I don't know. dress he wants to wear these shoes with everything the only problem is they're too small for Tonio Tonio feet are bigger and usually when he picks them it matches the outfit like this would go really great with his outfit but Tonio can't wear these huh yeah, Antonio can't wear these, baby. <laughs> so I think I need to buy some more, but in a bigger size, because this boy love. He loves these shoes. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. My name is Tonio. Tiny. <laughs> Cheese. 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 Life gets in the way, and when life says it's sleepy, it's sleepy. Especially this life. So yeah, so much for me going to the gym, which is, it's fine. It's my own fault. Normally I go to the gym at 4 or 5, and I didn't today because I was out late. That's what I get for being out late. But at least I was out late praising the Lord, though, you know. 
so yeah that is why i go to the gym around four or five o'clock because nothing is happening during that time and i can get it out the way life still be sleep because when life wake up then life can stop you from doing stuff that you said you was going to do. So, I'll probably go to the gym tomorrow to make up for today. Um, that way I can just feel better about myself. But, I'm going to go ahead and film. So, um, I'm changing the segments from Talk with Yoshi to Check-Ins. And I'll explain that in another video, but... I'm just going to start calling them check-ins. So I am about to do a check-in video for you guys right now. Let me get made up or let me just get my life together. When I say get my life together, that means put my makeup on. Let me get my life together. <laughs> okay, so since I couldn't go to the gym, I figured I'll just work out with the boys. addicted to YouTube that's I mean it's scary because they love YouTube out of Paw Patrol PJ Masks nothing can make this one sit still longer than YouTube and so with all of that stuff I don't know if y'all heard about the uh, the Momo character who pops up and have kids to do like horrible things like turn the oven on which is and then um, the, the Jack A, who was like instructing kids on how to kill themselves. Like, ugh. You want to say, of course it's easy for people to be like, well, you need to like watch your kids and what they're watching and don't let TV or the computer raise your kids. It's not that you're letting TV or whatever raise your kids. Sometimes... It is easier to get some type of peace going on to let them watch TV or whatever the case may be. I understand it. I get it. You know, I try to be very conscious about it when I realize I'm sticking them in front of the TV too much. So, I mean, I will say you can't forget that, <laughs> that you're doing that. You can't neglect that, but... I do try to be conscious when I realize, okay, they've been watching too much TV. My parents, too. My parents, they are being a lot more conscious with, okay, screen time needs to be at a minimum. TV, we're going to read this amount of time. So, the only thing I really let them watch is Ryan Tour Reviews. That's what he's watching now. So, and all he's doing is playing with toys. It's cute. But I love the fact that they have turned... I'm doing like a review for his channel, Lord. I love the fact that they have turned it into like an educational channel. So, like, the parents are involved in doing like little educational segments and everything. 
So like we just watched um about the solar system. <laughs> Tony alerted about the solar system at two. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Ryan toy reviews and I try to like just have a playlist going of that and they love it. Watching kids play with toys. So I sent Deron grocery shopping. Did y'all mom ever tell y'all not to go grocery shopping hungry? All of this stuff. We do not normally eat. Stuff like that. That's how you know he was hungry. I don't think he's bought this since college. Why not zebra cakes though? You don't eat zebra cakes. You would buy these over zebra cakes? Now that's just crazy. What else did you get? I'm scared to look in this bag. Okay, I told him to get that. Told him to get that. Lord, y'all, I see something that I did not tell him to get. <laughs> Some muffins. <laughs> Bananas. Chicken. Okay. One thing about was bad was this and this. That, that. No, no, they're not. You <laughs> what? <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> Whatever, them fruit snacks in there that I had bought from Aldi. I think they only had one pack of those. If they for the kids, put them in the kids section. <laughs> 